Hello, everyone. Welcome to the ECAM channel. This is Xue Hang. In our previous tutorial videos, we have discussed about the differences between electrical double layer capacitor, pseudo capacitor, and battery. Today, I will elaborate more on this topic by presenting a new perspective paper published by Dr. Fleisman and his colleagues on nature energy. Here are two examples revealing the impact of confinement on the charge storage processes. Previously, it has been discussed on whether the charge storage in hydrated layer transition metal oxide should be electrical double layer or super capacitive in a neutral aqueous electrolyte. Recent study shows the varying viewpoint can be unified. They find that the ion interpolation appears capacitive for burnicide because potassium intercalates into a hydrated interlayer. Simulation further reveals that potassium intercalates directly in the middle of the interlayer, surrounded by water molecules, and with relatively little structure change of the hosts. 2D transition metal carbide maxine is also a typical pseudocapacitive material. However, the co-intercalation of the organic solvents with the lithium into the Ti3C2 will reduce the total charge storage capacity. When acetonitrile is used as a solvent, the acetonitrile molecule presents in the interlayer and the pseudocapacitance is weakened compared to using the propylene carbonate as the solvent. Hence, the interlayer space or the interlayer environment determines the charge storage characteristics for intercalation processes of layered materials. The two examples offered in the previous slides demonstrated that the confinement may cause the deviation of pseudocapacity materials. And how about graphene, a non-pseudocapacity material? In this work, the CV of single layer graphene shows a capacitive current response in an organic lithium containing electrolyte. Such a response could occur from absorption of solvated or partially solvated lithium at the outer surface of the single layer graphene. However, studying from the fourth layer, the redox peak associated with the interpolation of the dissolvated lithium emerges in the CV curve. When the number of layer increases, the interlayer space between two graphene sheets decreases. In this way, the interaction between the host and the lithium ion increases, leading to mechanism deviation. Hence, it can be hypothesized that this transition between the solvated lithium absorption on a single graphene sheet and the regular intercalation of solvated lithium into graphite will occur with a continuous change in a charge storage behavior, accompanied by changes in ion solvation, ion mobility, and electrochemical behavior. That is to say, there is a transition region from the electrical double layer to the typical ferroidic intercalation. It should be regarded as a continuous transition between the two determined mechanisms by the extent of ion solution and ion host interaction. In this transition region, some of the pseudo capacity processes are observed. From the electrical double layer to ferroidic intercalation, an increasing degree of confinement is accompanied by a decreasing degree of ion solution which leads to an increased ion host interactions. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The video in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.